happy Sunday, everybody. I hope you have all had a lovely start of the day, whatever the day of the week is that you are watching this. I hope that you are all well. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I'm about to unbox my Samsung Jet 70 series vacuum cleaner, which I purchased from Argos. If you've seen Wednesday's video, you will have been with me when I went to pick it up. We are now going to unbox it. I purchased this from Argos because it was the cheapest online. I've done a price comparison. And the reason why I wanted this one is because it's so light. I think it works out. Well, the comparison is this is about two and a half, three pounds in weight. The Dyson, I'm putting upstairs because the Dyson is upstairs. The Dyson V8 animal body is five and a half pounds. And I loved how light that was on the stairs. But with the warranty, of a Dyson vacuum. I had mine just a little over two years and it started playing up and Dyson were just about as good as a chocolate teapot. So I was like, do I want to purchase another Dyson vacuum when they're only lasting for two years? And the money that we pay out for these vacuum cleaners, they're not cheap, they're expensive. So when you're paying like 400, 500 pounds for a vacuum cleaner, you want it to last. That's like a washing machine. I don't want just two years out of my washing machine. I want at least 10 and I want the same out of my vacuum cleaner. So I purchased this. It cost me £229 <laughs> and it has just been payday. So I thought, treat myself. I went to Bista Village and I didn't buy anything. I bought a jar of hot dogs from the Tesco around the corner from Bista. That was the only thing I purchased. So I treated myself instead to a vacuum cleaner. And I'm going to open it with you now here and test how it works. What? There's not any here for you. It's a hoover for me. So you get all your instructions. I'll just tip the box up so that you can see. And then all the bits in the box. We have the foot, the body. See, that is extra light. The wall mount. Suction pole. Look at the boss. You're watching everything I'm doing, aren't you? We have the brush for the shutters, power pack, little hard to reach places, and the battery. We actually have no stair nozzle. Well, that's good, isn't it? Let's open the instructions and see what is supposed to be in the box because it should have an upholstery nozzle or is that so if that clips down yeah that is the upholstery nozzle which i'm not really happy with but we'll see how we go what using a multi-wet pad what can you see that that's not my vacuum cleaner multi-wet pad i don't even know what that's for are you okay there hey yeah stop playing with your hoover and play with me what? You're never far from my side, are you? Hey. Your cloth's over there, you know, nothing here. Oh, you're looking for this? We collect them for you, don't we? Mm. <laughs> oh, gee, is she? What's the matter? What's the... Look, you fell on that. You're gonna scratch yourself. What? <laughs> Leave that Hoover alone and love me. Leave that Hoover alone and love me. Are you pulling my shit? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What? You want a wee wee? You want a poo poo? The minute I go to do it and she's like, no, I want all of your undivided attention right now. I'm trying to read the instructions, Peg. We could potentially put a nozzle onto the end of this pole and motor and have spinning discs. I'm yet to read the instructions, but our Peg is desperate for my attention. Right, let's have a little look. Then we pop the foot there. That can't be it. Oh, we haven't put the battery on. <laughs> we won't get far unless we put the battery on. I need to charge it as well. 
Mm, it could potentially be a little bit heavier with the battery. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier, but not very heavy. Probably just the same as the Dyson, really, when it's got the battery on. Right, let's have a little look how we get on with it. What rug should we do, Peg? Should we move all these bits and do this rug? Well, oh my gosh, look at this, look at this peg, look how dirty this rug is, can you see it? I can mum, I can mum, look at this. This was in my rug. Now, my rugs get hoovered every single day. There's not a day goes by that I don't hoover the rugs. Oh my gosh. I really hope that you can see just how much fluff. Oh, there's a seal on that. I think it's pretty safe to say I absolutely love it. It's picked a lot of muck up out of the rug. The only thing I'm gutted about is that it hasn't got the upholstery vacuum attachment. So I'll go online and see if I can get one separately. But it's got a maximum, a minimum. And let me just have a little look because I forgot. A mid, a minim, minimum and a wet. I'm intrigued to know what the wet is. There's obviously, oh, this dog for my attention, honestly. Whoa, stop giving that vacuum cleaner all your attention and give it to me. Is that what you're saying? Hey, yeah, mum, it is. You're cheeky you, aren't you? Hey, yeah, you are. Oh, you're so spoiled. Oh, you're so spoiled. Yet yeah, you are. Can't even remember what I was saying, but I think it was to do with the attachments on the... Why are you being bossy? I know what that shout is. I know exactly what that shout is. Does it begin with C? Does it begin with C? R. A. <laughs> no, you show me. Show me. Where now? In the fridge, Mum! <laughs> Look at them. It's just taken me 10 minutes to figure how Future editing Tony here. There is no such thing as figure out. <laughs> it's figure out. And I didn't want to just not even acknowledge the pronunciation of out. Out! I don't know where that came from. I can only apologise. I meant figure out. <laughs> how to put the Samsung vacuum cleaner on charge. You have to take the battery off the vacuum cleaner, put it into what I thought was the wall mount, plug it in and charge it that way. So that's on charge. I also need to put my battery out of my camera on charge. But overall, I am happy with that vacuum cleaner. I'm just gutted it hasn't got the stair attachment. But I'm pretty sure if I was to go online, I'll probably find that and they're probably not going to be that expensive i'll do that and i also need to read the instructions because i'm pretty sure there's another attachment that you can buy for that vacuum cleaner my washing machine sounds like an airplane again i've got a pile of washing from Ali being away so i'm gonna get that washing done i've got one washer on the maiden already so the house smells lovely of laundry detergent he had a lovely time in Italy. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm going to put this battery on charge and read the instructions for the Samsung. Today is Friday <laughs> and I've had a really busy few days. So there will be a couple of days missing out of this vlog. If my memory serves me well, the last time I picked the camera up was with the new vacuum cleaner. I've just been really busy with work and trying to juggle my time a little bit better. Plus yesterday was the 1st of September and my Step Up September challenge has started. So I have to do 30 minutes walking. I mean, I walk anyway, so it's not like I'm not used to walking, but 30 minutes of exercise for the Step Up September, which I've started and I'm thoroughly enjoying, but trying to get that little half an hour, be it morning or night, is proven to be a little bit tricky, but I'm doing it. I had a little bit of an emotional wobbler with Wednesday's video, which was me basically doing the usual stuff. I think we went to Next and to pick the new Hoover up, but the most important part of that vlog for me was the visit to Penryn Bay to Landlord Now. 
and it kind of gave me that moment where I knew I was going to be stressed about editing that video and the reason why is because sometimes we suffer more in our imagination than we do in reality and in the moment of being in Landudno I didn't feel any stress at all I felt like I was at home it's such a beautiful place and it's a huge part of me. My granddad was Welsh, my mum was Welsh, my granddad was from Holyhead Anglesey. So I'm predominantly Welsh and if you've learned anything about me over the past couple of years, you will know that I'm a very sentimental person and I love being connected to my roots and you know, it's a way of kind of feeling close to my mum and to my granddad. And going back to Land Udno was absolutely lovely in that moment, um, which brings me back to the stu suffering in our imagination because I knew once it came to editing that video, I would feel all the emotions and missing my granddad and missing my mum. And, and I did, I'm not gonna lie, I could come on and just totally disregard it and not say a word, but I'm not gonna do it because if anything, you know, I really want to stress that. Not everything is perfect and every day is perfect. I really did struggle editing that video to the point where I was like, I don't think I can do it because I was home. But I learned some things in editing that video and sharing it. And I found it quite difficult because there were a lot of memories for me in that place. And I knew I was going to struggle. When it comes to the actual final editing of that video, I knew I was going to struggle. Not that my editing skills are anything marvellous. I try my best. And providing you try your best, that's enough. But I knew it was going to be hard because of the emotions behind the whole me going to Landwood now. So I found that really difficult. But if anything, it sparked something in me. It made me really think about whether, and I'm just going to put it out there, that was the reason why we never actually sold our house and bought the other five or six houses that we actually went for. Was that the universe saying, no, this isn't for you, something better is around the corner and could it potentially be this? Lee and I have been talking non-stop because the very funny thing is, the very next day after we'd been to Land now, Lee ended up there for work and he said, you're not going to believe where I am. And, he, and I was like, where are you? <laughs> and he sent me a picture and I was like, well, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> so it's made us think a little bit more about finding somewhere out there and hopefully 2023, you may just see me renovating a little bungalow or a little cottage. It makes me so excited when I think about it because it's what I want more than anything. Really, really want something like that. And I'm only young, so I can still do it. It's still doable. And uh, I'm only young, listen to me. I'm only young. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> but there's still, you know, I've still got plenty of time to be able to do something like that. And I definitely will be doing something like that. But I just thought I would fill you in. I have been busy with work as well, but I've just been taking a little bit of time to absorb that. And if anything, I'm so glad that I've got that to look back on because it was just so lovely for me to be able to go and visit and document it and share it with you as well because, you know, who knows, you might be looking for somewhere lovely to go and visit for a nice day out to pop a packed lunch in the car, you know, and just go and have a lovely day. That's the place to go because it's so lovely. And thank you so much for all of your lovely comments on that video. It honestly meant the world to me. And I did get a couple of comments also over my pronunciation of Penryn Bay. I can only apologize. My mum and granddad would be mortified at my Welsh because I'm just not very good at, because I'm just not very good at pronouncing the places. But it's Penryn Bay. That's what it's called. I think I was calling it Penrithan Bay or something like that, but I was pronouncing it wrong anyway. And I do apologize for mispronouncing what it was called but thank you so much for all of your love and support on that video it honestly means the world to me but look what i done last night and i'm going to share it just in case anybody is like me with dogs where they become complete guard dogs when the doorbell goes or the knocker and i decided while i was in canva to create this is it going to show up well well, it basically says, trick or treaters, please don't knock. 
The dogs will bark. Please help yourself and be kind and leave some for the other monsters. I'm going to put it in a little frame and lean it up against the front door. And I'm going to fill Cyril, which is the little mummy. He's got a little hole in the top of his head where you can put lots of, you know, Haribo jellies, little, you know, sweets, lollipops, that type of stuff. I'll fill his head up with sweets and I'll make sure that it's all well stocked for when the kids are coming trick or treating. Because my dogs, you've witnessed it, go ballistic <laughs> when anybody knocks at the door. So I thought while I'm in Canva, I'll print something off that I can just pop in a frame. And I'll put some pumpkins around the picture. And I think I've also got the big round pumpkin that I got from Home Sense last year. So I'll make it a nice little corner and I'll put little bowls and obviously Cyril too with some sweets in for the kids for when they come trick or treating. So I done that specifically for, I mean, I'm early. It's the 2nd of September. <laughs> I'm already preparing for trick or treat, but it's best to be prepared. <laughs> I'm trying to use my time valuably, valuably, Val trying to use my time valuably. <laughs> oh, anyway, you know what I mean. I also placed an order online. Now I've seen this perfume being spoken about online an awful lot. And I was so intrigued to smell it because, you know, I'm like everybody else. I love perfumes. Even though I make my own perfume, this one is one that I've never heard of. So I've got the box and I thought, let's smell it together. I'm gonna go and get it and show you it. And then we'll have a little sniff test. This is what I ordered. It's called Sage Lutens and oof, it's expensive. So I thought rather than taking the recommendation of somebody on YouTube because it's so pricey and I mean extremely pricey, I popped it into Google. I had a little look around and I found this box of eight I think the three mil samples or four mil samples, but you get eight fragrances in the box so that you can have a little try of them, see what you think, see if you like it. And then if you like it, consider investing in the larger bottles. So we're going to open this and we're going to have a nice little sniff of them. And the one that I really want to smell is, I think it's called Flair, Orange Flair maybe? Oh, we are. Flair, Flair, the, Flair de Orange, that's what I want to smell. So let's open this up and have a little sniff test, but we'll go in the living room for it. <laughs> this as well is going to be a bit of a homely vlog. I've been out and about and I've had a busy few weeks and I just want to chill and relax. So please let me know if you are happy with the more laid back, cosy, home style vlogs, because by the time I've finished away, I am absolutely knackered. <laughs> this video specifically is going to be very much a homely vlog. So I hope you like that style of video. Let me know in the comments down below because if you don't like them, I really need to work out how I can fix that. <laughs> but let's go into the living room anyway. I've got them here, so we're just going to open them up. This is what we've got. Dolly's been on the sofa again. Can you see that flattened cushion? <laughs> right. There are eight in this box, but they're all EDPs. So let's start at the beginning. All the dogs are behind me and fast asleep. <laughs> you see all pet there, flat out and dolly. I'll link these down below as well for anybody who may be interested in these fragrances, but this one is Phil's de Joy. Oh, mm. feel like, oh no, I don't like that one. There's a nice undertone to this one, but if you like floral perfumes, you may love that, but I'm not really a lover of floral and it smells a little bit oldy worldy. So the, the fills the joy, does not fill me with any joy. I'm not really a lover of that smell. <laughs> the next one is Le Fill de Berlin. Very pink. Oh, I hope they're not all florally. Oh, oh no. I don't like that one either. No. It smells like... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really loving that one either. <laughs> this isn't going very well, is it? Oh, gosh. This sounds nice. This is Ombre Sultan. A little bit hard to get the lids off. They're like a little round stopper on the top of the bottle. That's 
not bad. It's not bad, but if I smelt it in a perfume shop, I wouldn't be eager to buy that one. This really isn't going well, is it? <laughs> this is the fourth one. This is the Fleur de Orange. This was the one that I wanted to smell. So I've got everything crossed that. Now they start to smell absolutely gorgeous because I really wanted to smell this one. Please don't be florally. Please don't be florally. Mm. Well, no, <laughs> I don't like that one either. Oh gosh, <laughs> maybe I need to just stop now. No, it's got it's got an undertone to it, like a very old fashioned perfume. Like years ago, the chemists used to sell like bottles of perfume for like two ninety nine. It's got that type of old smell to it it's not no anyway on boys vanilla please be nice at least one so i can justify spending this money i mean it was payday but i wanted to enjoy them ah <laughs> oh, that's not bad that's not bad mm, i'd say that's quite nice i wouldn't rush to buy a bottle of it but it smells quite nice so i'm gonna leave that one out because that one is actually okay <laughs> This one is Nuit de Cellophane. I'm probably not even pronouncing them right, but you know. The first hit of them, it's like a night, it's quite nice. But then the the second wave of the fragrance is very floral, flowery, like like you've just walked into a florist and they've, you know, cut all the flowers ready. Not that that's a bad smell, it's just not a smell that I enjoy. Mm, it's okay. I'll leave it out because it doesn't smell nowhere near as bad as the others do. So we've got two out of eight up to now. The next one is Feminite de Bois. No. No. No, that smells like... Very similar to Portrait of a Lady. It's got that woody, wood-shaven... No. That's very like Portrait of a Lady. If you like Portrait of a Lady, you'll love that. That's the... Feminite the boys. To actually touch the tip of my nose and I can just smell like wood on my nose. The last one is Let Orpha Line. I'm probably butchering these names, but hey ho. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. 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 Pure floral with a hint of Chanel number five. No. No. I know straight away that I don't like that one. So out of the eight, <laughs> we got a whopping two. The Unboys Vanille is nice, but not nice enough to buy. And the Nuit de Cellophane is okay. But again, those two are the only two out of that set where I'd say, yeah, they're nice. Well, that was a waste of money, wasn't it? <laughs> and I'm sorry to Serge Lutens that I didn't really enjoy those fragrances. They were not gifted. I purchased these online and I'll link them down below. In case any of you want to have a little smell, they're very, very florally type of perfumes, in my opinion. Well, that was a nice little waste of money. And I, and I shouldn't be wasting money. I should be trying to save money. But I was desperate to smell that orange fragrance and it's just not... Not what I thought it would be. I got two out of eight that are okay. It was a very expensive purchase for two little bottles of perfume. Too much money. You live and learn. It's not that bad though. I purchased the samples because I didn't want to pay out for the big bottle. Imagine how disappointed I would have been if I'd have purchased the big bottle. <laughs> I'd be gutted now. I am also loving my... I'll have to wash my hands because tips my fingers. Tips my fingers smell like talc, flowers and like oldy worldy smell so I'm just gonna wash my hands. So my vacuum cleaner, it's great, it's great. However, it doesn't have the upholstery attachments and I know I spoke about that in the video and I did speak to Samsung with regards to purchasing a upholstery piece for the vacuum cleaner. And also I wanted to speak to them about the actual spin mop 
wet pads that can go on the vacuum cleaner so apparently you can purchase extra pieces for the vacuum cleaner but i couldn't find the attachment online samsung did offer to put me on in touch with their pr team to have items gifted to me which i graciously declined and that was because i've purchased the vacuum cleaner so and i also purchased the insurance as well from argos which worked out about one pound 61 per month which isn't bad and the reason why i declined was because i've already purchased the vacuum um you know as much as i love the samsung brand my tv is samsung my hob is samsung my washing machine is samsung my vacuum cleaner all purchased and bought so there's no point in me being on their pr list because i've already got everything and i've already purchased it so i graciously declined and they sent me the link over for the attachments for the vacuum cleaner but i couldn't find the one that i want that's where i'm up to with the hoover but it is a great hoover the battery lasts well it picks up well it doesn't smell well smell <laughs> power and i didn't even know it when we were at next last week was it sunday i can't remember what day it was but it was one day anyway we went to next and we had a little look around and i did pick up some things and i was saying i'm gonna wait until i've decorated and keep it all a nice surprise for you and then i realized if i'm vlogging then <laughs> you're gonna see what the house looks like before that video actually reaches youtube if that makes sense because obviously with the whole awesome decorating it's not something i've done i had done a little tiny bit last year and by tiny i mean i put a few pumpkins out i had a few autumnal candles and that was it i am not going overboard this year but i was saying in the vlog i wanted to keep it as a surprise but really if i'm vlogging every day you're going to see the house and i'm not going to do the whole like decorate with me because there's just not that much stuff i only bought a few little bits and I'm going to share them with you now so that you can see. But I've got my bags here on the kitchen island. I'm not going overboard. It's just literally a few little bits because I've got some lovely little pumpkins in the loft that I've collected for around four years. But I've seen these. These are £12. And on the picture, it does show that there's a tall and a smaller. But I could only get the smaller ones. And what I got them for was... As a little pumpkin stand to pop the pumpkin in and then the other one i did purchase two and uh, when i've laid them out i can kind of hide one of them by standing them on something so to give it like a little bit of height i'll pop it on a box of some sort and hide the box so that i've got two pumpkins at different heights just like this and i thought the black candlesticks were lovely and you know they're not just awesome or halloween you could use them anytime and i thought they were lovely so we got those i did get this but what i didn't realize was and it was lee who realized not me when i got home that i picked the pumpkin mug up it was six pounds and this one is popkin because it's the dad pumpkin they have a dad pumpkin a baby pumpkin and a mummy pumpkin so but obviously i'm going to use it no one's going to know that that says popkin <laughs> only me and you <laughs> it's our little secret so i picked that up because that is my favorite style of mug i got this one this is a lovely mug but it's very big and as much as i love a nice full cup of tea I just think the size difference is pretty obvious. So I'm probably gonna use this cup and Big Lee will use that for his coffees or Little Lee will use it for his coffees. And I'm gonna have this because it's just the perfect size cup for me. So I got that. I also got two of these. It's just the little Hello Pumpkin sign because I can hang one on the pole on the front door. And I picked up two boxes of little miniature light-up pumpkins. These are going to look lovely around the bottom of the fireplace early in the morning. I can just imagine them to twinkle perfectly. Or you can put them in a display. Let's have a little look. How cute is that? And it all lights up too. Just a cute little light-up pumpkin. 
but you get four in a box so we've got two boxes of those and they're just little mini pumpkin led lights up but they look lovely in a little display as well you know like if you're gonna have like a little corner where i've got my little chopping boards it'll look lovely there as well then i picked this up for the fireplace now i don't usually do an awesome garland i'm not gonna lie i do do a wreath for the door and i made my own last year i watched claire's video claire is Polly put the petal on. If you're into crafts and floristry and all that type of stuff, then you'll love Claire's channel. I love watching her videos because I find her very relaxing. She really does relax me, not in a bad way, in a nice way. By that I mean she's not over the top. You know, it's a nice chilled out vlog, which I thoroughly enjoy. And if you love crafts or anything like that, you'll love Claire's channel. And she made the most amazing wreath last year with some like orange gingham like floral ribbon and pumpkins and it was just lovely i tried to recreate it similar but clear was so much nicer but i got this for the fireplace and i did also i got the wreath also now i really did want to try and get the one from matalan because it was big it was 28 pounds Whereas this is only small and it was £35. So it is a little bit expensive. But the good thing is you can put this away and it will last for years. Everything is very well attached. It just needs fluffing and shaping because it's just been chucked in a bag. But I'll fluff that up lovely. I'll get a command hook and I'll pop that on the front door as soon as it's a little bit more autumn to the 2nd of september so probably the end of september i'll pop that on the front door and i just thought it looked so nice really nice and it'll last well as well so i got the wreath to go so i got the garland to go on the fireplace and i'll probably use the candlesticks either end with a nice little pumpkin on the top because i've got some lovely little pumpkins upstairs in the loft so they're my little bits that i got from next and i'm not going to do a decorate with me because <laughs> all i'm doing is putting the garland on the fireplace and the wreath on the door and just putting a couple of pumpkins out but that's enough for me and i'll probably buy little bits in the future because i've got a feeling we're gonna go very much like the americans with autumn and halloween and that's a good thing I would have loved nothing more than when Lee was little to have been able to decorate for Halloween because he used to love getting dressed up. Honestly, we'd go to like Halloween parties and stuff like that. And honestly, he loved it so much, but it wasn't like it is now. You know, he's, he's nearly 25 only. So, you know, we didn't have the whole decorate your house for Halloween because he would have absolutely loved it. He loves Christmas. So no doubt he would have loved Halloween if that was a thing back then. But I've got a feeling we're going that way because last year especially, there was houses reaching the local newspaper because they were so decorated so much for Halloween. And I feel like the Americans do it very well when they do it. And some of the stuff that they have, I ended up down a rabbit hole a couple of nights ago looking on companies in america where not in america sorry i think they're in the uk where you can ship items from america to the uk and you can buy from like say michael's or home goods you know those type of shops walmart although walmart is very similar to asda they do have a lot of lovely stuff over there there are companies out there where you can have the, sh the stuff shipped to you so i watched some review videos i think it was called shipley the one that i was looking at I think it was called Shipley and I signed up they've given me an address that I can use to have items sent to and have some bits sent over so I'm like do I want to do it for autumn or do I want to wait and do it for Christmas and I think I'd rather do it for Christmas and start off small with autumn but they've got some amazing things honestly and when I do purchase those items and ship them over i will give you a full review of how i do it and it won't be sponsored or anything like that i've been doing a little bit of research myself it's usually the youtubers that buy in toys you know like those 
the little bobbly head ones, whatever they are called then anyway. They're the ones usually who use those companies and there's some good reviews. So if you've ever used one of these companies, I would love it if you could give me some feedback on whether you paid taxes when it came in, how much the shipping cost and that type of stuff. I would love to know because it's something I'm really interested in. So I'm gonna tidy this mess up now that I've shared with you on a board. It was no big secret and it was nothing big. Just a nice few little bits. Plus, mid-August, sorry, mid-September, we're in September. Mid-September, I've got all the items coming as well from the website. So stocks coming in, which was pumpkins, pumpkin burners, a few more little autumnal pieces like this one. These are available on my website. Just like little bits like that that you can put around where it's not too much. So I've got more stuff coming. And as soon as that arrives, I'll be sure to let you know. The Derby's on. So if there's any cheering or shouting, it means Liverpool has scored. But I thought while the football's on, I'm going to nip to Home Bargains, Iceland, and where else did I go? I went to Iceland, Home Bargains and Sainsbury's and I picked a few bits up but before I go any further I picked this up for our peg. It's a baby toy but I usually pick her up a little toy that she can play with and I just know she doesn't chew them or anything like that. She just carries them like they're a baby but wait until she sees this. Well wait until she hears it. Let me cut the tags off it and then I'll squeak it and watch it. Oh, she dropped a pair. Have you your new baby? Have you your new baby? Oh, no. Oh. Ah, she loves that. Yeah, off she goes. <laughs> it's pretty safe to say she loves her new baby. I am roasted hot in this sweatshirt. This is my new. H&M sweatshirt. I thought I'll put it on. I've got it on with a pair of Levi's and a pair of Birkenstocks. Nice and comfortable. I do like it, but I am roasted hot. I'll go through really quickly the items I've purchased from Home Bargains, but I've got one that I need to share. So I've picked up the Nikki nine pack of toilet rolls because if you remember in one of my previous vlogs, I purchased the Andrex toilet roll I think it's 12 pack and I've got three rolls of toilet roll left I've just put a new one out today and it's currently the 3rd of September so it's the 3rd of September and we've got three rolls left so it's lasting pretty well does Evan just score then yeah oh gosh I picked up some bubble bath some pledge furniture polish i use this on the metal in the bathroom so the towel rail the shower part the taps this gives it the most lovely shine so i use that in the bathroom you can use it on any surface i just love it in the bathroom i picked up a bag of grated cheese some toothpaste a packet of command hooks these aren't command hooks but they're as good as they're the cheaper alternative, but I got them for the wreath for the front door. I got all these little hippos and a little tree for me, which is the mint dimes. These came out last year and they are the most unbelievable bar of chocolate ever. So I got myself a pack of those. I got some biscuits for the pooches. A roll of tinfoil. A new flask for Ollie for work, so he can take some coffee with them. He loves these flasks, they last really well, but sometimes it's hard to get inside them and clean them. There's other one he'd had for a couple of years, so I've got him a new one. I picked this up, which was £1.99. I use these for my accounts, for my yearly accounts that I give to my accountant. And you basically just pop all of your details inside it's got little cards that you can write on but that's what i keep all of my accounts in every year and it works perfectly for one pound 99 it's a great way of keeping them all organized i got a packet of bike pounds 
Lee's little snack biscuits that he likes in his carry out. And that was everything from Home Bargains. I then nipped into Sainsbury's and I picked up a bag of potatoes, some brioche burger buns for Lee and Lee for tonight. They're having burgers for tea. I got a packet of chorizo, a packet of corn chicken for me, and a packet of honey roast ham for Lee and Lee. And then, and and some cheese onion crisps. Then I went into Iceland and I picked up some spring rolls, cocoa pops for Arnie, some Harry Ramsden's fish for Lee and Lee. They love this one from Iceland. It is really, really nice, but it's obviously not on plan for me, so I only said, but Lee and Lee really love it. A full fat milk for Arnie. A packet of Weight Watchers wraps which are lovely with a bit of chicken and salad in for your tea or lunch or carry out. A lettuce and a cucumber for the burgers for tonight. I thought rather than buying fresh peppers, I'll get a bag so I can just get a handful out when I'm making a chicken fried rice. So I got that and a bag of the warm chicken because that's lovely in. Tilda rice fried in a pan with an egg, some mixed peppers, some onions, some spring onions, really nice. I got a tin of sweet corn for when I have tuna mayonnaise and sweet corn. I got two chip seasonings, a packet of the Aberdeen Angus burgers for Lee and Lee, a packet of wholemeal fajitas, not fajitas, <laughs> pizza breads, which is lovely with tuna on. I've shared them quite a few times. And a little packet of chicken for the pooches. That's everything that I got from Home Bargain, Sainsbury's and Iceland. I was just about to go on a nice walk, get my 30 minutes exercise in for Step Up September. The dog's food order hasn't arrived and I usually order from pets at home but it takes too long to get. I mean I do it where you can collect it and it takes too long to get to the shop. It's usually about five days which is just, I haven't got time for that. So I ordered from Vet UK. Now, it's not coming until Monday. I ordered it yesterday, so I'm going to have to nip and go and buy a bag of dog food because the dogs have got a little tiny bit left and I don't change their diet. I feed them a Royal Cannon diet and I always have fed them that. So I'm going to have to nip to the pet shop, go and get a bag of dog food, and then come back and then go on my walk and do my 30 minutes exercise. food it literally looks like a grab bag snack size bag of dog food but you can't buy the bigger bags so the little one will do till the big bag arrives on Monday. I took the car through the car wash so that's nice and clean I'm now going to go for a nice walk I'll come back and do burgers and chips for Lee and Lee and I'm having corn chicken fried rice and I'm so ready for it I'm starving. My car is lovely and clean I want to carry on, but all I can hear is the loudest dog barking ever. That does sound like a big angry dog, and I'm like, oh, it sounds very. <gasps> can you hear it? it? Sounds like a werewolf. Trees are. <gasps> well, I've never heard that dog before. Gonna get my daily picture in the same little spot. <laughs> oh, look at all the leaves now. Oh, they're falling. There are so many leaves that have fallen compared to yesterday and the day before. It'll be completely crunchy 